Ron Burnett, OAC's 2016. Ron, you just got off the mat with your grandson, Gray Burnett. Is it safe to say that Gray Burnett is a freak athlete? Uh, yeah, he, he's, he's pretty freaky, all right. He's, he's a good athlete, real good athlete. Yeah. You've had incredible experiences with, uh, you were the youth coach for Logan and Hunter Stever, Chris Phillips, Cam Tassari, to name a few, Scotty Burnett, Eric Burnett. You guys have a really good youth program. Your, your son Eric then built off of it a camp system. True. Looking at when you have guys like that, when you have a Logan Stever come through, a Hunter Stever come through, or a Cam Tassari come through, you know, your son Eric's a Division I All-American, four-time state champ. Can you see it at that young of an age that they're going to be next level guys and, and, and history makers? Can you see it? Oh, yeah. I saw it right away with Logan. First year. First year he was there. And then the, the, the year that he left, I stood him on the table and I said, you never see this again. You know, at the bank. Ask anybody that was there. They'll tell you. Yeah. What is it? No, it's just it's just him. It's just whatever's there, you know. The will to win and not to lose. You know? just, that will to win. You know how many times did he win? You know, I don't think he lost but one match in ten years, twelve years. So, so how good is that? You know, it's just it's amazing. You know, best wrestler ever for me. That includes my son. Okay. Yeah. No, he was the best. Logan. And you've had like Dustin Kilgore's come through your youth system. Yeah, he came through too, and uh, Phillips, and those two guys, Phillips and Dustin Kilgore, they were great. They could do barrel rolls as good as Eric. Okay. They could do barrel rolls as good as he did. And and. Uh, that was what they started out doing the most of. And then uh, after they got going in high school, when they got into high school, they went off the barrel roll to the single, you know? Because maybe it wasn't macho enough or whatever, the barrel roll, you know? You understand where I'm coming from with these kids? They get to a certain point, maybe they don't want to do the barrel roll. And, and the barrel roll is an outside carry to some people, you know, it's, it's, right, a, key, right. it's a single with an arm. Yeah, yeah, right. But it's, it's a setup to, to go to that leg, you know, when you set it up, you're, you're trying to hit the barrel. And, and uh, both of those guys were really good at Kilgore and, uh, and Phillips. They had the best barrel rolls in the room. Yeah. Eric pinned Perler with it at the NCAA tournament uh, one year, didn't I, he? I understand that. And, and, but, you know, when his kids go away from you, then they kind of have to decide what they want to do, you know. They have other coaches or, you know, other influences. So they get away from even Kilgore when he went to hit that uh, takedown on, on his opponent in the finals of, of the NCAA. He, when he went in there, he looked like he was going to hit a barrel. Left-hand barrel roll that he always gets. He went in here and he pulled the guy's arm and the guy stopped. I thought he was going to go get one, you know. You know, but he, he just went and got the single instead of the barrel. When you look at, you know, youth wrestling, you've been a youth coach for 40-plus years now. What's the biggest thing you want kids to get out of youth wrestling and then ultimately junior high, high school, college. What do you want kids to get out of it? What have your kids gotten out of it? I know uh, the most important thing. Is, well, it, 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 wrestling is about life. You know, it's it's life itself. You know, you know you're, you're trying to. It's how you survive. Okay, you survive in the workplace. You know, you survive in school. That's what wrestling is, that you survive and excel at what you're trying to do. I don't care if it's uh, what other sport you're in or whatever. That's what it's about, excel. Right? Uh, wrestling, uh, to me, is a great sport because it's on you. And, and, uh, and what I like most about, about the whole situation of wrestling, spoken about it. I do not like mat wrestling, okay? I'm not a fan of mat wrestling at all, okay? You know, and I tell all these kids, hey, do the takedowns. Learn as many different kinds of takedowns as you can. Because you look at all the great ones, they all can do it. You know, the Dakes and the Taylors and, and uh, the, all the guys
guys that can do multiple takedowns. They're all great wrestlers. Okay? Freestyle. Freestyles become feet wrestling. Freestyle is not about, there's no mat wrestling in freestyle. Right, right. Yeah, but I mean, even, on, in, even at high school, you know, why would you waste time on mat that you can't turn a good wrestler? You know? I don't know about you, when you wrestled, did, did anybody ever turn you? Maybe in college a couple of times, no, but I, not I'm in serious. high school. No, no, I'm serious about, you know, when you went to high school and everything, were they turning you? No. No. Okay. So why should, why should uh, they take the time to do that? You, you get where I'm coming from? Strategy, the guy, the slow guy, the match yeah, down. No, the guy didn't do anything. All he did was, like you said, slow it down, okay? But there's no reason for you to do it, you know what I'm saying? No yeah. reason for you to do it. Okay, here's my question. Okay. We just got done with the NCAA tournament last night. Right. Eric took fifth. Your, your son Eric took, took fifth. Yeah, yeah. You look at his whole situation. He gets beaten around the 12 as a junior. You know, he's a four-time state champ, one of the best guys in the country coming out. He's going into his senior year not an All-American yet. Right. How do you right. handle that as a father? How did Bob Bub treat it? And how much pressure was on your kid to be an All-American, do you think? No, that was, that was his thing. That, that was him. That's what he wanted when he was around uh, Coach Bob and, and the, the, the rest of the wrestlers in Clarion. They wanted that for him also, okay? And he wanted it. He wanted to be All-American. You know, in my opinion, he would have been an All-American sooner, you know, had things been different, how, how everything got to that point. He didn't have to work, you were going to steel mill. Right. right. Eric, exactly. Eric didn't have to work in a steel no, mill. How right. much does that mean to you? Oh, that means a lot, you know. Hey, this, he has a great life, you know. He does what he, he, what he loves to do. You know, I, I liked what I was doing. Don't get me wrong, I didn't like that. I like what I was doing as a, as a, uh, as a career. You know, I was a machinist. You know, I had to go through uh, training to become a machinist. You know, through, through uh, your, uh, you know, just like you do in you go in the Marine Corps or whatever. You had to go through that training. You were a Marine, right? Right. You had to go through the training. Okay, so you go, you come out of the thing, you got to go take uh, tra training to become a machinist. So that's what it's all about. Is education, would you say education is the ultimate goal, the ends to right. wrestling? Exactly. No, exactly. Education is the goal. You know, and I didn't have a lot. I, got, I had a couple of years of uh, junior college, but that's it, you know. But when I, I wanted my kids to have college education. And, and, and for the most part, we got it done, all right? Uh, the youngest, he had a little problem, which was not all his fault either. So. But as far as the rest of it went, my daughter's a college graduate, a master's degree, you know. Eric's a college graduate. And they're doing fine, okay? So I just, I think it all worked out for our family, for the way things went. What would you say to any youth wrestler who's maybe discouraged with the sport? Oh, I would say never get discouraged with, you know, because there's so many times that you run into snags that are just that day, that's all. It's just that day. And, and the rest of your life is going to be good, you know? <laughs> You know, so don't, don't, don't even think about that. Go do what you love to do. If you love wrestling, go wrestle. And you'll do fine. You got anything else for me? No, I don't have. I, you, you got me yakking here? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ron, thanks for the time. It's always good talking to you. Same here, Zeb. Yeah, it's been a pleasure.